Hey, you probably hooked your scan tool up to dozens of different vehicles over the years, but the Global OE2 standard makes it fairly easy to go from domestic to Asian and to even some European makes without breaking the sweat. But do you remember the first time you hooked up to a VW or Audi? <laughs> they do things a little differently. Making sense of the things that VW and Audi does in their scan tool data is the topic of this edition of the trainer. Stick around. Well, to help me help you make sense of VW and Audi diagnostic scan data, I went to the experts at Rostec. They're the makers of the VCDS diagnostic scan tool. They also have a great wiki resource uh, as part of their website and a team of tech support that can help you through some of those more trying times if you're bringing VW and Audi products into your shop. Today, we're gonna talk to Jeff Damewood. Jeff, thanks so much for joining us here on The Trainer. Hello, Pete. Thanks for asking us to speak to your readers today. Like you, we often come across repair professionals who are apprehensive about working on Volkswagen and Audi models, since they feel they don't have access to the correct tools or information. At Rostec, we of course make the VCDS diagnostic software and interact with technicians used on a daily basis, so we can help shed some light on the basics. For those who are familiar with the different modes of the OB2 protocols, diagnostics with Volkswagens and Audis have very similar variations to the OB2 modes. OB2 uses mode 1 to view live PID data. VW and Audi diagnostics use measuring blocks or advanced measuring values to view live data. This can be as simple as RPM or engine coolant temperature in engine control modules. But other control modules report live data as well, such as the turn signals and wiper stalks to the steering wheel electronics control module or brake pedal pressure in ABS modules. OBD2 modes 2, 3, 4, 7, and 10 type functions will be found on the same screen when checking DTCs with VCDS. Both pending and active fault codes will be shown as well as any freeze frame data supported by the control module. Well, Jeff, what are some of the differences between OBD2 and the dealer level scan tool? One of the major differences between the OBD2 and the factory VAG protocol that I think technicians would find helpful is the ability to use a dealer level scan tool like VCDS to generate readiness codes on gas engines while the car is parked in the service bay. This is very useful to help quickly verify some repairs such as the evaporative emission system. Also, for areas with emissions testing, it becomes possible to have the car pass inspection without the need for a very extended test drive after some repairs. Well, how do you get access to different control modules? Is it difficult to get access to a given module? All control modules in Volkswagen and Audi vehicles have a two-digit code for each control module address. And once connected to a control module, a two-digit code is used to start some function. Back when I first started working on Volkswagen Audis, the old factory scan tool had a simple numeric keypad, and it was up to the technician to learn the two-digit code for addresses and the two-digit code for functions. It was a bit of a steep learning curve. With VCDS, the buttons in VCDS have short descriptions on them, so you can tell that address 15 is for the airbags, or once connected to the ABS control module, function 02 is to check DTCs. A new user of VCDS can very quickly learn the basics of Volkswagen and Audi diagnostics. Jeff, can you give me an example where a dealer level scan tool is required to perform a service on VW Audi, uh, something that a generic OB2 tool can't perform? A very common procedure that needs to be done is a steering angle sensor calibration. Uh, this applies to a lot of Volkswagens and Audis for the last plus 10 years. Uh, just so you know, in this example here, we are using our wireless hex net to connect to a laptop computer wirelessly. So we've got to do a couple of prerequisites here. So I'm going to start the engine up, let it idle in neutral. So on this car, prerequisites just turn all the way to the left and hold it for a couple of seconds, all the way to the right and hold it for a couple of seconds, and then recenter the steering wheel back out so that the steering wheel is perfectly level and the front wheels are pointing straight ahead. At this time, we can now go into the VCDS software and connect to the ABS module. 
you'll notice that when we have our list of control modules, we have the two-digit codes for the control modules as well as a brief description of the control modules. So 03 ABS brakes, click on that. We are now connected to the control module. In this case, we need to go to security access and we have to enter a security access code to enable basic settings. The VCDS software has a lot of built-in documentation and we can see here 40168 for basic settings enabling. So just type in here 40168, click on do it. Security access accepted. Now we'll go into basic settings and from a drop down menu, I'm gonna do adjustment of steering angle sensor G85 and adjustment OK. And just click done go back, done go back, and that's it. So Jeff, where do technicians go to get the information they need to perform, say, a G85 steering angle sensor calibration? This procedure is documented on our wiki website, a free resource available to the public. The web address is wiki.ross-tech.com. The wiki website is not a replacement for the factory repair manual, but does have a lot of free technical information for Volkswagens and Audis. Jeff, are VW and Audis any more difficult to work on than any other OEM? At the end of the day, Volkswagens and Audis are not very different than other vehicles from a diagnostic standpoint. There is some unique terminology and there are going to be some differences as with every different manufacturer out there. It's still nuts and bolts, it's still suck, press, bang, blow. Now, I'm sure by now a lot of the folks who are watching this video are asking themselves, where can they find out more about VCDS and, and that way cool HexNet device? Our main web address is www.ross-tech.com and again our wiki address is wiki.ross-tech.com. Well, Jeff, thank you so much for taking the time to share your expertise and please express my appreciation to all of the team at Ross Tech. That's all the time we got for this edition of The Trainer. I'm Pete Meyer. I'll see you next month.